Hi, kindergarten. Welcome to another Bible lesson. Yesterday, we learned about the sower and the seed, and we learned about the different types of soil and how they weren't able to grow those seeds because, do you remember? They were either hard or they were rocky or thorny, but if you have good soil, that's where plants and things can grow. Now, today we're going to continue talking about that, and Remember, seeds that are on hard pathways cannot grow because the seeds cannot get down into the soil. Seeds can only grow when they are buried in soft, good soil. When a person with a hard heart is around Christians who show God's love and speak God's truth, it helps soften the hard soil so the person can receive the good seeds of God's word. Remember, God's word is the Bible. As the good seeds have an opportunity to grow, people want to know more about God and become part of his family forever. Now, eternal life means that you live with God forever and ever, and you will be with those who love him as well and have accepted him into their heart. Jesus wants his followers, those who've asked him in their heart, to help plant seeds the good news of Jesus in other people. Now, when we think about a seed, this is a bean. Yes, it's a jelly bean, but pretend it's a bean. Now, if I just stare at it, do you think it'll grow just by staring at it? No, it won't just grow by staring at it. You have to put it somewhere. You have to put it in a good soft soil. You have to water it. You have to make sure there's good sunlight and take care of it. Now, same thing is pretend that this seed is just like God's word, the Bible. And we need to take care of it. We need to share it with others. We need to make sure that our hearts aren't hard and rocky and don't, don't want to listen to what the Lord says. We want to obey and listen to what God says. So today, what you're going to get to do is you're going to take out the Bible paper you did yesterday, and on the back, remember, we only do one page a day, so on the back, there are some pictures of some rocky soil, and this little birdie here, he wants to eat those seeds that are on that hard and rocky soil, so on each number, I'm going to read them, and then you're going to take out the, the paper that looks like this, and you're going to cut out each of those boxes, so go ahead and pause the video right now, and make sure you cut those out, and then I'll tell you what we'll do. Okay, now that you're done cutting them out, let's go ahead and read the directions. It says, this bird wants to eat seeds. Cover the seeds with good soil. That's these sentences from God's word, the Bible. Number one, it says, I do not take opportunities to hear God's word. Should we be ignoring when someone is reading the Bible or telling us something about the Bible? No, we don't want to do that. We instead want to hear God's word read to us. So go ahead and cut out that first one right there and glue it on top because that is the good soil. That is what kind of heart we want to have. Next, number two, down here it says, I do not try to understand God's word. Should we just not care about understanding God's word? No, we shouldn't. We should really try to understand. When it doesn't make sense, we should ask someone. Hey, can you help me with this? I want to understand. So that means you're going to go ahead and take out this sentence right here that says, I try to understand God's word. So go ahead and put that square rectangle on top of number two. Okay. Next, you'll want to look at number three up here. It says, I do not listen when God's word is read. Now, think about it. Do you listen when someone's reading the Bible or telling you about God's love? Or do you just ignore them and play around? Think about it. We want to make sure we listen when God's word is read. So go ahead and cut out this top one right here. And put that right on top of number three. We want to have that good listening heart. Then, number four, it says, I disobey God's word. Should we be disobeying if God says to obey our mommies and daddies? Or to... Um, be respectful. Should we be listening to God? Yes, we should. We need to obey what he says to do. And that means that we need to cut out this good soil, this 
part that comes from God's word, cut that out and put that right on top of number four. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. And thank you for listening. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.